What's up guys? Today I am back with my LA haul. I have quite a lot to get through so I'm going to do my best to speed through everything but if you have any further questions or you want more info just ask about any item below. I had a very big list of beauty items this time around and I did manage to tick off mostly everything that I was after. I was very excited to check out Charlotte Tilbury and I picked up one of her KISS ING lipsticks in the shade Penelope Pink and it's a really nice slightly beige your lips for better color. I got a ton of eyebrow products. I have the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I got it in the shade Blonde of course and I did buy an Anastasia brush to apply with and that is the number 12 brush which has a angled brush on one end and then a spoolie on the other. I picked up the Maybelline Brow Drama in the shade Blonde and actually it's really nice at kind of darkening those finer hairs to pick up a little bit more detail in my brows. I do not know how I've lasted so long without getting one of these. It is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is my new absolute favorite eyebrow product. I've never been able to do my eyebrows faster or look as nice as this. It's kind of like a pencil on one end and a spoolie on the other. So it really is an all-in-one eyebrow product. I'm pretty sure this is featured in every haul of mine where I've been to America. It's the Elf Studio Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder and it is a knockoff of the NARS Duo and I only ever use the blush side because the contouring is too dark for me but it is by far my favourite blush. You guys know how I love the Naked Basics palette so of course I had to pick up the Naked Basics 2 palette by Urban Decay. And this one just features a few more darker shades, which I really like because I do find I tend to neglect the lighter shades on my original Naked Basics palette. Ever since I discovered tubing mascara, I don't really use drugstore brands anymore, but I heard really good things about the CoverGirl Full Lash Blue mascara, so I'm going to give this one a shot. Another product I'm sure you guys know I love is the Laura Mercier Smooth Finish Foundation Powder. I picked up another one of these because whenever I go to America, I always have to stock up. It is my favorite full coverage powder. I picked up this Japonesque Mineral Face Brush and it has a flat top, which is exactly what I was after and it probably is about a medium density. I decided to pick up an original beauty blender. I've only ever used the knockoffs, but I constantly hear people raving about these, so I thought I should finally try it. I've been on this hunt for a better full coverage foundation than my Revlon Colorstay. I find it's really hard to get something in the same shade of pale that I am. I did manage to pick up this Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. I can't say I like it quite as much as Colorstay yet, but it is definitely a really good color match for me. And of course, my current favorite foundation is my Revlon Colorstay in both the oily and the dry skin version. You can probably tell the shades are actually quite different, even though they are both in ivory. I picked up two of these because the American formula is different to the Australian formula, and I always like to compare. I decided to upgrade my current nude nail polish by Max Factor, so I picked up Samoan Sand by OPI. Don't you guys find it hilarious that there's a brand called Aussie, but it's not available in Australia? but this is the three minute miracle moist and it is one of those like holy grail products tons of people talk about but i've never tried it here i have the john frieda frizzy's secret weapon touch up cream and you can use this on dry hair which is awesome because i always like to use something on my freshly blow dried hair to kind of smooth out a couple of random things that i hear youtubers talking about i have the band-aid friction block stick i haven't seen this in australia and since i feel like i'm always breaking in at least one pair of shoes i figured this would be perfect for me and the next thing is the all may oil free makeup sticks and I picked up a couple of these which you snap in half and the liquid flows into one end and you can use it to touch up your makeup on the go. I generally have really strong nails but if I decide to grow them particularly long they do sometimes get little splits just where the nail starts to leave the bed. So I picked up a couple glues by Kiss. I have one with a precision applicator and the other one is maximum speed. You might remember me pointing this out in my LA vlog but I picked up a bunch of dream water. I tried these while I was over there and they are really good. So it's a sleep and relaxation chart that is completely drug free and I found these were super helpful for getting over jet lag. Some more random things that I heard YouTubers talk about were these Celestial Seasonings Natural Teas. So I picked up the Sleepy Time Vanilla, the Sugar Cookie Sleigh Ride and finally the Gingerbread Spice. There wasn't that many food things I wanted to buy this time but these Godiva milk chocolate caramels 
were number one on my list. If you guys have a Godiva stockist near you, you need to get these. They are so amazing, especially if you love caramel things like I do. I wanted to get back into reading more this year, so I picked up a Kindle Paperwhite, and this is my own pink cover that I got on eBay. I've already started using it, and I really love it. And what I do like the most about the Paperwhite is obviously that it has the adjustable built-in light. And if you guys have any book recommendations for me, please, please tell me in the comments below. I pretty much like anything in the horror, mystery, and thriller genre. I had been planning to get this like the whole year leading up to the trip. It is the Erin Conjured Life Planner and mine's customized, just as my name and then the Milk Club underneath. And I got mine in the gold foil edition, which is so nice. I always want to get this one. So here it is open up and that is a full week. I won't go into too much depth with this one because there is a lot to talk about. That is my own little pink bookmark, which I have taped in myself. I really like this planner. I'm not a crazy planner. Like I'm not gonna be planning three years into the future, like hell no. But I do like how a planner can kind of help me achieve more in a day and visualize my week. I really found this design suits my aesthetic because look, it already matches my hands. Moving on to the best part, all the clothing that I picked up on this trip. I'm a really big fan of classic earrings like pearls and diamonds or cubic zirconias. So I picked up my first pair of classic pearl studs. And keep in mind, I've only had my ears pierced for probably about a year and a half now, maybe even less. And I also picked up a double pack which has these tiny little cubic zirconia studs and then some little gold ball studs, which I'm actually wearing now. The silver ones in there, my old earrings, which I just shoved in there. You might remember me wearing these in my Hawaii vlog on New Year's Eve. They're Kate Spade earrings. They're a pearl surrounded by little diamonds. I never really know what to call them. It's like diamonds, diamonds, fake diamonds. You get me. And they're kind of like granny-esque, which I kind of like for some reason. It's like super old glam looking. And I also picked up these faux diamond studs as well, which is one big one in the middle surrounded by lots of tiny little ones. Something else you might remember from my Hawaii vlog, this mini backpack and it is black with kind of like a beige contrast stitching and it's probably no secret that I love stuff with contrast stitching. It's a really nice sized mini backpack and it has the front pocket, two side pockets and a main zip compartment. I picked up two pairs of leggings on this trip. One of them I'm not going to bother showing you. I've already worn it a million times and it's like folded in my cupboard somewhere. And those are the Live In Reversible Leggings by Zella, which is a brand from Nordstrom. And they are really amazing. They're kind of like a stretchy sporty fabric on one side and then super soft on the other side, but they're still very lightweight. So I highly recommend those. The second pair I picked up were these Pink by Victoria's Secret Fleece Lined Leggings and they are like insanely soft. I'm so excited to wear them in winter. And yeah, they are on sale, so I think they only cost like 19 bucks or something. I've been on the hunt for a crossbody bag recently and I was told that Rebecca Minkoff would be the best option and I was like, I'm never gonna wear Rebecca Minkoff, completely not my style. But when I went on the website, I actually found a style that I thought kind of suited me and I actually really liked. And it was called the Mini Crosby. And I thought I wasn't gonna find it, but I did. I managed to pick this up last minute in LA from Bloomingdale's, I think. They had two left. And I'm really, really happy with it. It's a great size. It has a top zip compartment. And then it has this cute little like lock feature on the front, which opens up the front zip. The main inner compartment has a lot of little storage pockets, which is great. And then of course there is a large pocket at the back. And I haven't even used this bag yet. It's a problem I have. I always save my things before I do a haul with them. I'm sure some of you are watching this being like, okay, Sophie, bring it on, bring out the big guns. Where's the best stuff? Of course, I had to save the best to last. I don't ever go to LA without visiting two of my favorite stores. Joy Rich and Wild Style. So I went to Joy Rich first, and you guys might have seen my Instagram post where I was like, guess what I bought? And no one guessed it, no one got it right because I guess it wasn't really the main focus of the picture, but I picked up these awesome sweatpants. They have the high visibility Rich logo on the side, and then they have a zip back pocket and then two zip side pockets. So I'm very happy with those and I just wish it would be winter already so I can wear them. And of course I went to Wild Style, one of my favorite stores ever. I picked up this amazing Nazir Mazar sweatshirt. It has got these really cool 
plastic letters on the front, which is still really flexible and soft, which means it's still super comfy to wear. It also has this white abstract piping that is on the front and then it also continues onto the back. I really liked this feature, it was really unique. If you're a sewer or familiar with like construction of garments, you'll appreciate this. But this piping, for it to be sewn in, it's like in its own separate panels, which is really cool. So I can definitely appreciate the construction of this sweatshirt. So happy with this and of course, it was on sale, so I also got it for an amazing price. That is about everything for my LA haul, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed. Be sure to hit the like button if you did. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.